Please rise. morning. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, the Lord be with you. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to my brothers and sisters that I have greatly sinned. In my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask, Blessed Mary, our Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. As we recall year by year the mysteries by which, through the restoration of its original dignity, human nature has received the hope of rising again, we earnestly beseech your mercy, Lord, that what we celebrate in faith we may possess in unending love through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you. In the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. The high priest rose up and all his companions, that is, the party of Sadducees, and, filled with jealousy, laid hands upon the apostles and put them in the public jail. But during the night, the angel of the Lord opened the doors of the prison, let them out, and said, Go and take your place in the temple area and tell the people everything about this life. When they heard this, they went to the temple early in the morning and taught. When the high priest and his companions arrived, they convened the Sanhedrin the full senate of the children of Israel, and sent to the jail to have them brought in. But the court officers who went did not find them in prison, so they came back and reported, We found the jail securely locked and the guards stationed outside of the doors, but when we opened them, we found no one inside. When the captain of the temple guard and the chief priests heard this report, they were at a loss about them as to what this would come to. Then someone came in and reported to them, the men who you put in prison are in the temple area and are teaching the people. Then the captain and the court officers went and brought them, but without force, because they were afraid of being stoned by the people. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord hears the cry of the poor. Lord hears the cry of the poor. I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise shall be ever in my mouth. Let my soul glory in the Lord. The lowly will hear me and be glad. The Lord hears the cry of the poor. Glorify the Lord with me. Let us sing together, extol his name. I sought the Lord and he answered me and delivered me from all my fears. The Lord hears the cry of the poor. Look to him that you may be radiant with joy and your faces may not blush with shame. When the poor one called out, the Lord heard and from all his distress, he saved him. The Lord hears the cry of the poor. 
The angel of the Lord encamps around those who fear him and delivers them. Taste and see how good the Lord is. Bless the man who takes refuge in him. The Lord hears the cry of the poor. Hallelujah. 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 God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, so that everyone who believes in him might have eternal life. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son so that everyone who believes in him might not perish, but might have eternal life. For God did not send his Son into the world to condemn the world, but that the world might be saved through him. Whoever believes in him will not be condemned, but whoever does not believe has already been condemned, because he has not believed in the name of the only begotten Son of God. And this is the verdict, that the light came into the world, but people preferred darkness to light, because their works were evil. For everyone who does wicked things hates the light, and does not come towards the light, so that his works might not be exposed. But whoever lives the truth comes to the light, so so that his works may be clearly seen as done in God. The Gospel of the Lord. Jesus explained God's plan of salvation to Nicodemus by declaring that the story of Moses and the brazen serpent was a sign pointing to the good news that God would show his love for mankind by subjecting his own son to suffering and death in order to save them all. For God so loved the world that he gave his only son, so that everyone who believes in him might not perish, but might have eternal life. This is the summary of the gospel message of salvation through Christ Jesus. Today's gospel passage teaches that our salvation is the free gift of a merciful God given to us through Jesus, his son. We know it is not because of our merit. It is a free gift from God. In his plan about our life, he might have planned everything from our conception to natural death and our salvation hereafter this life. Everything is planned and it is in the hands of God. If you're asking something against the will of God, that is not going to happen. So pray to God that your will should be done in our life. Through John chapter 3 verse 16, the gospel teaches us that God has expressed his love, mercy and compassion for us by giving his only son for our salvation. We need to respond to God's love for us by loving and serving him in others in whom he dwells. God's love for us is unconditional, universal, forgiving, and merciful. He dwells in each one of us the same way he dwells in others. So we see Christ in another person. We see the salvation of Lord Jesus Christ. He brought that to the world to the whole mankind, not a particular group of people, but for all. 
So we need to gather everyone to this um, entity of God, that is to save the whole mankind. It's not excluding anybody. So we should also, should not exclude anyone from our love, from the love of God. Amen. As witnesses of the resurrection, the apostles were sent forth to continue the work of Christ. Let us now pray for the continued mission of the church. For our deacons and priests, that they may defend the true church that was given to us by Christ, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the church throughout the world, that it will remain faithful to the teachings of the apostles, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For peace for all of us, that peace can only, that peace that can only be found by following our Lord. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For a kind generosity from all those who have, that we may share with those who do not have. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For a quick return to normalcy in our lives. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all those who are sick and who are dying, for those who have died, for those whose names are written in the St. Jude Book of Intentions, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the repose of the soul of Captain Ben Abraham, whom this Mass is offered, let us pray to the Lord. As your people continue the work of the apostolic witnesses, we ask you, loving Father, to grant us our petitions through Christ our Lord. Bless us, Sadari, Lord God of all creation, for the goodness we have received. The bread we offer you, fruit of the earth, and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Bless us, Sadari, Lord God of all creation, for the goodness we have received. The wine we offer you, fruit of the wine, and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. O oh God, who by the wonderful exchange effected in this sacrifice have made us partakers of the one supreme Godhead, grant, we pray, that as we have come to know your truth, we may make it ours by a worthy way of life. Through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation. At all times to acclaim you, O Lord, but on this day, bow forth to love you yet more gloriously. When Christ our Passover has been sacrificed, for he is the true Lamb who has taken away the sins of the world. By dying, he has destroyed our death, and by rising, restored our life. Therefore, overcome his paschal joy, every land, every people, exults in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Holy. God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. 
You are indeed holy, O Lord, the bountiful holiness. Make holy therefore these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and ended willingly in his passion. He took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, we proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection. Therefore, as you celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church put throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Edward, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray. That with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages. We may marry to be coerced to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, Hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thou will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from our distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Amen. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Lamb of God, sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed.
For those of you who are home, let us pray the prayer of spiritual communion together. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the Blessed Sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire you with all my heart. Since I cannot now receive you sacramentally, I ask you to come spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already in my heart and unite myself to you completely. Please do not let me ever be separated from you. Let us pray. Graciously be present to your people, we pray, O Lord, and lead those you have imbued with heavenly mysteries to pass from former ways to newness of life. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you all in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying our Lord by your life. Thanks be to God. Holy God, we praise thy name. Lord of hosts.